If you have prediabetes or diabetes, you are most likely to have some amount of inflammation in the body because high blood sugar does tend to create inflammation. And if you have that belly fat, for example, you most likely have some level of inflammation in the body because we know that the belly fat is a marker for the fat that wraps around your internal abdominal organs. By the way, that fat is a source of a lot of inflammation. It's actually a very active immune hormonal organ that's spewing out all kinds of inflammatory signals if you get this excess belly fat. If you have a big belly, you've got a smoldering fire inside of you. A lot of what is causing this low level chronic silent inflammation today is our environment, our dietary habits, our lifestyle. And we know that chronic inflammatory disorders, and when I talk about chronic inflammatory disorders, I'm talking, you know, not just about rheumatoid arthritis and inflammatory bowel disease, but all of these different uh, modern diseases, because these are inflammatory disorders. And so we know that our lifestyle factors play a very, very important part 